hey y'all okay story time so I talked briefly about one what happens when God says no and you don't obey and then um, secondly about a situation where God told me to break up with someone I kept trying to make this video it was not complete and then all of a sudden I felt it in my spirit <laughs> like girl you gotta go and say something <laughs> So I want to talk about uh, this situation and how it is so important to be so aware of the works of darkness. I feel like all of this is so, oh my goodness, my life, all of this needs to be in the next book, but why would I do that when I could just talk about it? So without further ado, <laughs> God told me to break up with a guy I just met. I was, he was so handsome, but when I met him, I just kept feeling like something was off. I felt like something was really cold about him. I felt that it was, I don't know. I just, something was not right. And every time it was just like, I got this cold, dead feeling. And I just kept feeling like there was a spirit of death around him. And I would say that I'm like, look, I don't know what's going on. I just feel like there is a spirit of death around you. And I don't know, but there is a spirit of death around you. Are you hiding something from me? What's going on? So this man, we met once and then we met again and I wanted to do deliverance on him because let's be honest, y'all, I am not dating no demons, okay? And so this was about two years ago. And so I began casting these demons out of him. He opened up his shirt and I was like, a goat? What kind of? We're going to get to that in a minute. I want you to be very careful. If you don't know symbolism, you wouldn't know. So I'm like, I got to look that up. That sounds satanic. That sounds like it's going to be. <laughs> I was like, yo, that's got to be like eight levels of jacked up. Because that does not sound like that came from God. Okay. So I was like, um, why, what's, you know, I just feel like there's something off. I can't, I can't put my finger on it. Like I'm literally happy to see you. You're so incredibly handsome, but there's a spirit of death. Every time we would go to this church in Guadalajara, I just like would feel like there was something over him. He left my house that next day and it was like something was over him. It was like the most demonic thing. I saw a spirit, a demonic spirit, tell him good job. As he was putting on his shoes, I said, oh no. So I went into deliverance immediately after that. I called my friend. I said, look, I, I, I prayed for this guy and I saw, you know, my ex coming and yelling in my face. So I'll, this whole time, I'm like, oh, my God, is that a spirit spouse? <laughs> like, I was freaked out um, only to find out, you know, about a year recently, God just showed me that this man was a Satanist and he was actually manifesting when we started doing prayers and I had him renounce things. So it was powerful to see that, but I was like, well, this is why, I mean, once he d had done that, I mean, th it never met, m we never met again after that. I had done a deliverance on him. And at that moment, God was like, you can't see this person again. So I was like, all right, God's telling me this guy is very, 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 very bad secrets, very bad secrets. So I'm like, okay, tell me, God, tell me. He couldn't even say it. God could not even say Satanist. It just very, very bad, very bad. God repeated himself maybe 10 times. Very bad, very bad. I said, okay. Um, but then when he took his shirt off, I said, oh my gosh, that has got to be demonic. And so it wasn't until I was doing all these symbols when we had prayed. I had prayed for him. So I want to talk to you about the power of praying for other people. And it really works. Even carrying the atmosphere of God around you. Even Satan has to bow down. Um, and so this was why God told me to break up with this person. After I saw him one day, I was not allowed to see him again. I met him once for dinner. And then I was like, I don't know. Let me see again. Actually... I feel something's off with you. Why don't you come to my, come, come to where I'm asking you to meet and we're going to pray. And that's what happened. <laughs> I said in the name of Jesus and he goes, 
<laughs> all of the demons, <laughs> all of the demons began coming up and manifesting. And he was like, oh, I had the music. I had like um, worship mob on and he was creeped out by it. So I want to tell you, those who even think that they're making allegiance uh, with dark forces, brothers of angel, brothers of the dark angels, um, Santa Muerte, they have no power against the Holy Spirit, against the power of God, against the blood of Jesus. So uh, that's it. God told me to break up with this guy. And now I know it was because he's Satan. So I want to talk to you about some of the symbolisms. It is so important for you to continue to look through these stuff. Um, I had walked into a shop. I was in Tampico. I was like, okay, I'm going to finish National Novel Writing Month at the beach. I was in Matamoros freezing and I was like, I just can't, I just, I need to be hot and sweaty and like put my feet up and drink a coconut and just look at the water and type. Now I ended up, you know, going to cafes with no beach, but you know what? It was a point. It was just warm. You know what I mean? And so, um, I went into the shop and it had, I said, oh, where's the skull here? Why? And the woman said, oh, you know, she likes it. Then I see a goat head, this horns, and it had the triangle on the head and the upside down like Wicca color. And I said, oh, Baphomet. Oh, but it's not bad. It's not bad. You guys, this is what the enemy is going to try to do to confuse you. This is what the enemy is going to try to do to bring false light. This is why I was confused. This is why I was a witch. This is why I was burning sage. That's witchcraft. This is why I was with angel cards, sending them to my family, talking about, look, it's Archangel Michael. It's false light. And this is clear demonic stuff. Just so you know, for the record, I didn't go in and buy anything there. I mean, I just saw the skull at checkout and I was like, um, why is that there? Or the person just likes it. And I looked at this girl's body and all of the tattoos all over her body was just weird. And the other girl around her was just weird too. I just said, oh no. And I walked up out of there quick. I just, I felt cold. And then I went to another restaurant and I just started looking around. I said, there's so much idol worship here. Like, where, where am I going to go? <laughs> that Where am I going to go? There's literally nowhere for me to escape because there's just everybody is worshiping an idol. And I realized that if it's not here in Latin America, it's going to be somewhere else. It's in the U.S. It's a celebrity. It's in the U.S. It's in Reiki. It's in Thailand it's in uh or in indonesia it's in weird healings so with this i'm just personally am a little weird about some of the stuff that i end up doing because i was so easily fooled at the beginning thinking well it's just crystals like it's just trying to heal me like what's the pr it comes from the earth these were natural arguments that i had out of ignorance and I want you guys, on the spirit of witchcraft, I want you all to know if you were in a sorority or a fraternity, that is witchcraft. I remember watching this podcast by this podcast is the name of Not Milk. And a girl came up and she was a former Delta Sigma Theta or AKA, but you pledge your life in Greek stuff to Greek gods. The only God you should be worshiping is El Shaddai and Yah, okay? Bruach Elohim. That is the only God. But now people are saying, oh, it's Greek, and they try to get you in with saying things like, it's going to help you with the job application. Now go back and look at some of the bylaws that you have, and it's witchcraft. There are things that should be in the Bible that they replace with the organization's name. The, to be honest, once you get out of school, nobody cares if you went to the sorority fraternity. Nobody does that. And your origin is not Greek, okay? Unless you are literally in Greece. Your, your origin does not come from Greek gods. It's just weird. So I want you, if you have done something like this, please repent. Going to yoga. I mean, I don't know. I'm like... 
I haven't heard that Pilates was bad, so I haven't done any Pilates, but since I woke up about yoga and it's contorting your body to different, um, different, you know, Hindu gods, I just, I backed off of it. So I just want to say the same thing for you, please, you know, if you are a repented child of God and there's just some things you don't know about, please do that. Now I had, I feel like this should be a completely different video, but I'm flowing. So if there's things in your home that was representative of your sorority or fraternity, get it out of your house. I was preparing with a pre-call, uh, a pre, uh, just a prayer call before we had gone into deliverance as an introduction. And this woman has telling me that she was trying to get some alcohol. Alcohol is cursed. Um, if you have anything inside of your home that is belongs to the dead, I was staying with somebody for a few months when I had just come back to the U.S. from Malaysia, from Asia, and she kept her husband's ashes in the house, and I always felt that there was a spirit dark watching me. Yeah. So darker spirits are still around when you keep dead people around. So if this is a shrine that you have in your house, an altar, a picture with some candles in the corner of the house at the wet bar in your home with photos of the dead, that, my friend, is an altar. Now, according to the Bible, the dead have no, when they leave this earth, they have no affiliation with us. If you have ashes in your home, please get rid of it the dead person has is, is already gone they don't really need to be buried anywhere they're already gone they're gone they, w when they got burnt they left now I want you to please do this and as we prepare for different deliverances and different sessions I want you all to be really aware of that I want you to be aware of the stuff that um, that that is that you're around i want you to be aware of the fact that a lot of these um demonic things come innocently don't drink because that's an open door sex is an open door um ouija boards tarot cards crystals pendulums get rid of every gift that anybody has given you in your home frenemies are real I'll get to that in a different video as well. So just, just know and prepare yourselves. Frenemies are so real and they're jacked up. I want you guys to be safe when it comes to that. And I, um, the darkness is real. I want you all to be exposed. It's kind of, um, for me, it's kind of caused a bit of like, I don't want to stop. I was always aware of a lot of the stuff that happened and it wasn't, and, and I want to share with you, it's not conspiracy, but it is so important to me, even at the beginning when people were calling it conspiracy, which is just truth. When somebody wants to shut you down, what are the two things they try to tell everyone? Oh, she's crazy or they'll make you crazy or I don't know what she did this and like, all kinds of narcissists do this oh what is she saying you know try to make you look bad people who come from this type of family unit the uh, you know very toxic home with scapegoating and golden child they'll do that oh look at this and oh th it's always this problem it's always this problem that is only to deflect away from the situation at hand so when people do that i want you guys to be really aware of that's that's really their tactics that is their tactics and it's disgusting and the second thing that they try to do when you're like outing them is to call it a conspiracy so you oh man like i don't know what that is it's just a conspiracy be careful all right guys i'll see you later take care